Welcome back to 6.5 on the road here at Computex. Uh, we're covering the Snapdragon X Elite platform launch here. And uh, I have my colleague Olivier Blanchard with me and Acer's uh, Eric Ackerson, Senior Product Marketing and Brand Manager. Um, and we're gonna talk about Acer's role in this uh, ecosystem and with the, the launch of the platform. So um, I'll kick it off. Um, I wanted to know, uh, Acer is kind of one of the world leaders in PC innovation. You know, they've been building PCs for a very long time. And what I wanted to know is how is Acer innovating around the Copilot Plus platform with Snapdragon X Elite to differentiate and, and move the industry forward? Thanks for having me. Um, our mission is to break down the barriers between people and technology. One of the ways we can do that is to introduce new features uh, and bring it to more users to enhance and improve their experience with their products. So driving towards that, as we look at Copilot Plus PC and Snapdragon X Elite platforms, there's just so much, so much more there that we can work with. Uh, and from that, we're able to develop and introduce those new technologies, uh, taking away some of the friction from users and making it a better experience. Now, our just introduced Swift 14 AI has a couple of examples for that. Some homegrown AI applications on the device. Uh, first up is Acer Purified Voice 2.0, which has uh, hardware and the AI software combining to uh, reduce background noise and make a better audio and video connection. The other is Acer Quick Panel 2.0, and this is a context-aware application that will come to the forefront when a user goes to use their microphone or webcam, giving them access to the controls and the personalization of the system. Now, something that's kind of cool uh, is on the touchpad is an AI activity indicator. It's a kind of glowing orb that will turn on when the system comes to life, but more importantly, it'll, it'll breathe and show activities. So when the system is accessing the NPU, it shows activity. The user knows something is getting done. It's like a modern turbo button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. <clears throat> so how has your, um, your partnership with Qualcomm specifically on the uh, Snapdragon uh, X Elite platform, changed your view of what it means to be uh, a, an AI PC or even the trajectory of, of AI PCs in general? The Snapdragon X Elite platform offers efficiencies and performance that really uh, enhances the experience and changes what can be done with the system. And I think as a result of all that power and efficiency, our own view of what an AI PC has evolved and with it comes new ways to introduce features to the users to take away their pain points. In the new advanced AI PC era, usage mode has changed. It's no longer about search, it's about ask and task. So focusing on the efficiency of the system for a moment, um, all of that power, all of that capability, these new features that can be added, but really the efficiency means you can do all of this all day. The platform really extends the life of the system, giving you that capability to get so much more done for so much longer. As AI continues to drive the momentum of the PC industry, uh, how does Acer see the future of the PC evolving along with the industry and as AI applications start to mature and we as an industry understand better where it might be going? So we're very excited about what AI brings and how it's going to change the landscape for uh, the users and their experiences. Um, AI, and more specifically generative AI, really gives an opportunity to reset and rethink how things are done. In fact, um, investment into AI startups is booming. And we really can't wait to see all of the new creative tools that are going to come to market to help uh, support people getting work done, uh, being more creative, and, and taking away some of the friction they would otherwise have with their systems. We are focused on working with industry partners like Qualcomm to develop more tools to take advantage of what's there and enhance the overall experience. We expect the industry as a whole and PC makers to continue to innovate, to continue to drive these features into the systems and the users to find new ways to take advantage of all those tools. So the Acer Swift 14 AI uh, is an extremely competitive and thin uh, Copilot Plus PC. Uh, so congratulations on that. Um, how do you plan on, on expanding and just basically building momentum on, uh, on that approach to the Copilot Plus PC? Well, as always, we really look forward to uh, learning from this experience and, and refining what we're doing and evolving the product over time. 
I think most importantly, we're going to listen to the users. What do they say? What are they doing with our systems and how can we make it better? And then finally, I would say we're going to stay focused on our mission, which is to remove the barriers uh, between people and technology and really enable them to unleash their creative spirit. I would love to know what you're thinking about when it comes to creativity. And you know, I, my experience with Acer has been that you guys are trying to enable creators. And you know, the Acer Swift AI is a great platform for the future, but I'm curious, like, you know, where does it grow from here in terms of, uh, you know, th the actual physical device? Because the, the Swift 14 is a fairly compact device, yes. um, and we've seen some larger uh, Snapdragon X Elite systems. Uh, you know, how are you guys thinking about the physical size of the device? Yeah, it's a very good question, and I'm afraid I can't get too far into this because of uh, the roadmap's not announced yet. But uh, I can tell you, we definitely look at other options from a design standpoint, materials, size of screen, um, and finding different places to fulfill users' needs. Different users in different segments have different needs and different paths they take to accomplish their tasks. So we're going to be looking at uh, how to address their specific needs and improve their experience. It might be a material choice, it could be a screen size, um, or a technology underlying it all that uh, brings the whole package together. So sustainability, uh, as, as you know, is a, a big element of, of product design and, and uh, strategy for, for a lot of tech companies these days. What's, what are you guys working on in terms of sustainability, especially with the Copilot Plus PC launches? Where, where are some of the opportunities that you see in the future? Yeah, Acer's been working on this for quite a while. Several years now, we really put a focus on uh, sustainability. Um, we even have a line of products specifically dedicated towards that. Um, this product isn't in that category. However, we've taken some of what we've learned and brought it over to the Swift 14 AI. For instance, the packaging is 100% recycled. Uh, the materials of the chassis are uh, where they can be, they're recycled PCR plastics. In the production of the product, we're using less chemicals uh, and less paints, so there's less emissions during the entire process. So it's not just about the product, it's about the assembly and, and packaging and, and the whole production and delivery of the product. Could you tell us about any specific design choices you've made with the Acer Swift 14 AI? So on the touchscreen version of the product, we have the bezels uh, around the screen behind glass. So that touchscreen experience is extremely smooth. So edge to edge, no interruption, uh, and it takes away some of the pain points people would have with doodling, for instance. Thank you very much. And stay tuned for the rest of our coverage of Computex. And don't forget to follow us on our social channels and for more posts from the show.